Okay, a few people have asked me this. You know, oddly enough, when I see people at weddings, where like the moment counts, like that really fine moment, people think, well, I've got a pocket full of batteries, you know? And then I got some more batteries in my case, but no, no dice. It's not about having enough power when it comes to flash photography, speed light photography especially, specifically, um, photojournalism, uh, close in action, um, wedding receptions. It is about delivering enough light, enough times, in a shorter period of time. There's this neat little thing called charging. And it doesn't matter how many batteries you've got. If you brought a hundred batteries, it's not good enough. Well, sure it is. No, it's not. Because they cannot drain, drop the charge to the capacitor, and then flash that xenon tube fast enough. So, let's take a look at the world's fastest option for dropping light. Like a machine gun, okay? And then we'll explain why we're using all this advanced, um, expensive equipment and a cheap speed light, a cheap old speed light too, of which you can choose basically any of the old cheap speed lights. Okay. Hold on a second. Did you see that? My buffer dropped out before I ran out of power. I didn't run out of power at all. Hmm, let's take a look at all of those. Perfectly exposed. Oh, yes. Now, why am I using pocket wizards? Why am I using a quantum... There are cheaper options, obviously, than a quantum turbo pack. Um, and why am I using a cheap old speed light? Now, this is an SB28. It could be an SB25. It could be an old $20 SB23, because they still have a power port right in the front here. You see this cable? These are specific, like Sony has their own connector, Nikon Speedlights have their own connector. These little cables are like 25 bucks. This quantum pack ain't so cheap. Now, <clears throat> when it comes to capturing that moment, like when they're cutting the cake, and you're able to get two shots off, well, or I'm able to get 30 shots off, it's like, well, my camera's fast enough, and I brought plenty of batteries. When people say that, I go, eh. Wrong answer. Your camera is fast enough, you brought, you brought plenty of power, but you didn't bring the right kind of power. Now, um, on all of these um, speed lights, when you're running external power like this, and this is a nickel metal hydride pack, and there are various different nickel metal hydride packs. You don't have to get the really expensive one like this. You still have to have the internal batteries. That basically keeps the brain working, in really simple analogy. That's necessary um, for it to communicate with itself internally, the computer. All this is doing is feeding power. More power, Scotty. Dropping it faster, circumventing the capacitor, dropping it to the xenon tube. Why am I using an old speed light instead of like a really expensive SB900 or 910? Because this kind of stress, you have to know when to stop, too. You just can't go like... And then the capacitor inside that speed light. You think that a speed light will always, like, overheat and shut down first? That is not the case. Uh, <laughs> people think that, and that does happen very, very often. What also can and does happen is that the capacitor goes, uh, and it explodes. It sounds like a gun going off. Boom! So the only thing that would be damaged in this case would be a $40 old speed light. I think this speed light was, God, this is a speed light from back in the day. And people say, well, why do you got like seven of those speed lights? That is the reason, because these old speed lights are quasi-disposable when you use them like this. Now, this is where the money comes in. The only thing extra that I have here is pocket wizards. Why not the flash cue triggers? Flash cue triggers can't drop the transmission at that fast of a rate. Since they're running off watch batteries, they can't be going brrr as far as the signal transmission from transmitter to receiver. So, and you got to have pocket wizards for that. Um, $30 cable. Now, these quantum packs are really expensive. I think there's like $700 right now. They make much cheaper ones. Like the cheap versions of these are, uh, I think, what are they? They're, uh, they're like 350 bucks or so. It's the power. When you get that shot, when the moment arrives, and you can feel it coming, you know, you can feel the moment peaking, 
You know, it's like, oh my god, I got off three shots, but I missed the moment because I couldn't drop the power because, well, I had brought plenty of power and my camera is capable of it. You didn't bring the right kind of power. There is power and then there is power. Lots of power doesn't solve problems. Um, with uh, photojournalistic speed light work, it doesn't solve problems. Um, with uh, like wedding reception speed light work, you got to be able to drop the power at the right moment and just machine gun it. I'm not saying spray and pray. You think I'm saying spray and pray? No. I'm saying that there is a perfect moment that exists between zero and infinity and the best photographer in the world doesn't they, they will feel it coming but they don't know the microsecond that it happens and this is this is irrefutable and that is why these packs exist these packs pay for themselves these packs are necessary if you think you can get by if you're a wedding photographer you think you can get by with a bunch of double-a batteries you're a dummy you you'd be wrong oh my definitely you'd be wrong so here we go Here's an example of the fastest speed light that money can buy where you can drop some serious power and that is why I'm using an old speed light instead of an expensive one. You also have to be able to feel that imaginary zone that you just like, I'm not going to push the speed light any further. You know, you pop off 15 or 20, stop. Okay, If you haven't captured it within 15 or 20 shots of continuous eye, then you probably didn't get it. I'm uh, just saying, all these shots came out perfectly exposed, too, by the way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You can't see it, but perfectly. <clears throat> that was in continuous high. So, there you go. There's the fastest way to drop serious light, serious fast, that exists. Alas, and however, these packs, even the cheap ones, are not that cheap. They are rather expensive, but they do pay for themselves. You just throw this over your shoulder like a little man purse, like I have here with my little Nikon strap. You take this to a sporting event, a wedding reception, whatever, and you drop the serious light when it calls for it waiting for the batteries to discharge the capacitor and the capacity, you know. No, 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 no. No dice, uh-uh. Ain't gonna work. So, there's pro tip of the day. It ain't about having enough power. It is about having the right kind of power. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I need to recharge my pack here, actually. Mm -hmm. It's so fun when the uh, capacitors on the uh, speed light blows. They sound like a gun going off. And they will make you pee yourself. Not that I've ever done that. They'll make you pee yourself because they are very frightening. They go BAM! You see here? This is the little connector, the power port in the front. This one specifically for Nikon. Any decent speed light has one of these power ports, including little cheap-ass SB23 speed lights have these in the front of them. You know, those are perfectly fine, too. You know, you don't have as much uh, control as far as adjusting your power, but those are fine. So, here we go. I had a few people ask me that question. It ain't about enough power. It is about the right kind of power. These are great, too. You can charge your laptop with these. These are so much fun. I would kiss it right now, except I'm afraid it might shock me. And, uh, oh my god, they're not too cheap. They're not too cheap. They are too too expensive for what they are, actually. Um, great customer service, however, made in the USA. They make the Blade, which is a smaller version of this. This is the Mama Jama, the Quantum Turbo 3. So, anyway, I hope I answered some people's questions. I'm going to get my pocket lizards off... Uh, my Fuji X-T2, and then I'm going to go write an article or two, or something like that. Okay? Bye.